thank you for joining this. Um, I'm, my name is Heidi Copeland, and I'm a Family and Consumer Science Extension Agent with the University of Florida, IFAS Extension. And um, I'm cooking out of my home kitchen, and we decided to start with eggs because that's an ingredient that I'm sure everybody has in their, in their refrigerator or any, even in your backyard if you're raising chickens. And um, I hate to borrow a line from the egg board, but they are an incredible edible egg. Um, they are full, chock full of nutrition, they have protein, they have vitamins, they have minerals, uh, they're low in calorie, and it vacillates from year to year, but they're back to being good for you. Um, but, you know, anything in moderation. Um, so I was going to do some eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so I'm going to start kind of backwards, because I'm going to start with something called a German pancake. You put some butter in a dish, four tablespoons, you don't even have to measure it. You can just cut it off of the stick and it's ready to go. You're gonna put a half a cup of flour, a little bit of sugar, three eggs and a half a cup of milk in the blender. And if you don't have a blender, you can just do it with a whisk. It just takes you a little bit longer. Scrape it down once, do it again. And by then it should be ready to go. So what we're doing is we're just trying to incorporate some air into this so that when um, it's all done, it will be nice and puffy. And my butter hasn't quite melted, but I'm going to do it anyway because this will turn out no matter how you do it. So you pour that in there. Um, put it back in the oven. And in 20 minutes, when we're done, that should be done as well. All right, one good way to use a lot of your leftovers is something called a frittata. And just to save time, I sauteed some zucchini. It called for one medium zucchini, small onion with some garlic, seasoned with an herb. And then when that gets nice and hot, you pour over six eggs that have one ounce of cheese and you pour it in the pan. Um, one thing that people sometimes do with um, eggs and they have a hard time with them is they, they don't get their, either they get their pan too hot or they get their pan not hot enough. And so that, that does take some practice. As this cooks, I'm just lifting the edges a little bit to get, they call it the curd of the egg, away from the center and toward the edges. To, um, to cook. So every couple of minutes, I'll move that around a little bit. The next recipe, I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich. This is something you can stick in the freezer, so it's very easy. So this recipe calls for four eggs, two ounces of cheese, salt, and then some fresh grated pepper. Um, I do try to measure oil because Oil is very high in calories. So now I just put this little mixture in the frying pan. And if you look at your recipe, you probably notice it says not to put the cheese in with it. I just, it's just, to me, it was just easier to do it with the cheese in it. In the meantime, I've made something else called shakshuka, but it is kind of a trendy thing right now. It's from the Middle East. And it's a recipe that is really good to have right now because of all the garden vegetables that are coming in. The shakshuka that I made, I made with canned tomatoes, but I'm hoping that my garden tomatoes in the very short period of time will, will take its place. But with this, I don't know if you can see that, but what that is, is green, it's uh, peppers, I use red, you can use yellow, orange, green, an onion, and then I used a can of tomatoes. So you just cook that down a little bit and when it gets um, nice and bubbly, like you see it here, then you basically will cook an egg on top of it. I'm gonna show you that. I put the eggs, can you see that on, right there? I put them on top of that. I'm gonna put the lid back on. And in just a few short minutes, um, I can say um, that will be ready. And then that can be, like I just said, 
a breakfast, lunch, or dinner item um, for your family. In the meantime, I have toasted some English muffins. Can you see those on my tray here? Put that on my English muffin. I've been making these for years. You can put a piece of meat on them. You can put a piece of cheese on them. But you wrap it in a piece of damp paper towel. And then, let me get it out of the freezer, hang on. And then you just put it in the freezer. And so it looks kind of like that. And then when you, go, when you get ready to use it, you throw it in the microwave. And again, all microwaves are different. Um, I won't say mine's pretty powerful, Ooh, but it is. And so a minute might be a long time, but for some people that might not be long enough. And um, so anyway, in the meantime... What does the, what does the damp paper towel do? It, it, keeps, it keeps the bread moist, yeah. So in the meantime, I have my, my eggs are cooked. Sometimes I've seen this serve like on, um, on top of a pita bread. I'm going to put it on a plate with the pita bread around it. But again, this can be served with your favorite herbs and spices. Um, and it's very, very filling. And then, you know, just pretty it up a little bit. I could put some parsley on it to show you how even better it would even look a little bit better. So you see how nice that looks with a little bit of little bit of parsley on it. But you see, it's steamy hot already in just in just a minute. And that's just a very nice little um, breakfast sandwich that you know you could bring to work and um, stick in in your microwave. I had zucchini, um, some dill, and some feta. Um, I could do, you know, red onion and chicken. I could do um, potatoes and ham. I could do whatever, broccoli and cheese. I, I, I saw a recipe online and they, they called it clean out the refrigerator frittata. So again, you could even put rice in it or or something like that. This is called um, a, a German pancake. I've had it served with um, ham and cheese on it, and it's delicious. And I put this together here. I was gonna just put some fresh fruit on it and then sprinkle it with some powdered sugar. And again, so that makes a really, um, a very light dessert that is very, um, pretty good in nutrition, you know, with the eggs, milk, a little bit of fat, but oh, that's okay. See, yeah. it's very nice. Thank you. This really didn't take as long as I thought it would. I was just rushing, rushing, trying to get it done. So um, thank you for joining this.